Hello, I'm Sam from Databricks Delta Sharing Team. Delta Sharing now supports streaming tables. You can share a streaming table with any recipient across cloud, region, or platform. In this video, I will demonstrate how to share streaming tables using Delta Sharing with Databricks user and a non-Databricks user. Let's dive in. Let's begin from the viewpoint of a data provider who intends to create and share a streaming table with a recipient. For those unfamiliar, streaming tables are delta tables designed specifically for incremental or streaming data processing. To create a streaming table, the provider will use create a streaming table statement. This example creates a streaming table based on the CSV files in the storage location. Here's the streaming table I have already created in my Databricks workspace. I will securely share it using Delta Sharing. Delta Sharing is an open protocol developed by Databricks that enables seamlessly sharing with users across clouds, regions, and platforms. I will show you how to do it using Catalog Explorer. I will create a new share with this streaming table. and grant the share to a recipient. There you go, I have set up the share. Now let's switch to the recipient side, someone receiving this shared streaming table. Remember, this recipient is a Databricks user. I will head over to the catalog, the other sharing and share the with me page, look for the provider and look for the share. Click Create Catalog. Click the catalog name and it goes for schema, streaming table. In just a few clicks, our recipient can now explore this shared streaming table seamlessly. But wait. What if your recipient isn't on Databricks? No problem. You can still securely share streaming table with open recipients. On the provider's Databricks, I can open the share which contains the streaming table. I can create a new open recipient. Select token recipient and give it an expiry time. Grant the share to this new open recipient. I will now download the recipient credential using the activation link and share it with the recipient using a secure channel. Next, I will show how a non-Databricks recipient will access and visualize the streaming table. I will switch over to Tableau and use data sharing to connect directly to the shared streaming table. Tableau integration allows data recipients to access live data from Databricks without needing to replicate or copy it. I have now successfully established a connection and am able to see the shared streaming table. I will now build a visualization and report based, based on the shared streaming table. To summarize, this demo shows how easily we can share a streaming table using data sharing. We have securely shared live data from Databricks to Databricks and from Databricks to Tableau without replicating data, ensuring both flexibility and security. Thank you for watching this demo.